Duxiga boarding here, my little a man, a man of boarding and a school. Seven and everyone watching this video, welcome to our social video lesson of chapter four. And our topic, as you you can see it uh, it here, the political system of Africa and the two world wars. We looked at the political system and the early civilization. You remember that, and we shall measure at the two world wars. Now. Uh, in the history of human beings, there have been two major world wars, namely First World War and Second World War. And therefore, by the end of our lesson today, as a student watching this video, you should be able to state which years the First World War took place and when did it end. The second thing is that you should be able to try and state factors or things that led to the war factors or causes of the first world war now you can remember anytime people fight whenever you fight with somebody we don't ask you to fight yes but whenever there is a fight between two people something must have led to that fight and therefore the first world war took place because countries and powerful countries in the world fought there must have been factors, there must have been causes that led to that war. And as we move forward, we shall look at here that in the history of human beings, there have been two major world wars, and that is First World War, WW, uh, Roman, uh, Roman I, and Second World War. Now, the First World War happened between July 1914 to November 1918 two important dates that you should know and even for the sake of your exams that the first world war took place between july 1914 to november 1918 what were the major causes and before we look at the major causes what happened approximately how many people died during the first world war we shall be looking at how about 17 people, 17 million people, sorry, died during the First World War, including very many American soldiers. And so, uh, moving forward here, over 17 million people, over 17 million people were killed, including 100,000 USA soldiers. Now, the immediate cause of the First World War was the killing of Franz Ferdinand, Franz Ferdinand, an Archduke of Austria-Hungary. Now, the killing of an Archduke or a person who was supposed to become the king, the next king of Austria. Austria is a country in Europe. So, the Archduke or the person who was to become the next king was killed. And therefore, after being killed because he belonged to Austria-Hungary, Austria blamed their neighbors. And the neighbors of Austria are Serbia. So Austria blamed Serbia for killing. Serbia is also a country in Europe. Both of them are countries in Europe. And therefore, one neighbor blamed the other. Just the same way Somaliland can blame Ethiopia. Or Somaliland can blame Somalia for the killing of somebody who is very important in the government. So, Austria, Hungary, they were combined, blamed Serbia for the killing of Franz Ferdinand. And therefore, when you are asked what was the immediate cause of the First World War, what you have to state is that it was because of the killing or the assassination of Franz Ferdinand who was an archduke of Austria. Now, Austria blamed Serbia. So what happened? It meant that Austria declared war. It attacked Serbia for killing of their person. Good. Um, some of you do not know where Austria is. We shall be looking at a map of Europe where Austria is and which neighbors, which other countries apart from Italy and, and other countries that are in Europe and France, where is Austria and where is Serbia? Now, this is the Archduke called Franz Ferdinand who was assassinated, he was killed by Serbia, allegedly killed because it is not true. We do not actually 
uh, know whether it's true that Serbia killed him or it was just a lie, but Austria blamed Serbia. This is Franz Ferdinand. He was to become the next king. Now, when he was assassinated or when he was killed, Austria declared war on Serbia. Now, here is the map of part of the map of Europe and we are able to see from this map where Austria-Hungary is and also where we have we are able to see where we have Austria-Hungary and Serbia. Now, here is Austria-Hungary, the whole of that orange. Austria is in Europe and you can see some of the countries that we all know uh, are like France, we know France, we've heard of France, uh, Italy, Germany, we have Poland, Ukraine, and Romania. Now, Austria is here, very large, you can see it, and its neighbor is here, Serbia. So, when the Archduke, Franz Ferdinand, was killed, Austria blamed Serbia. Now, when you blame your friend, it means that you are either going to attack them, you will declare war on them, and that is what happened. Austria declared war on Serbia. Now, friends of Austria, countries which were friends with Austria, helped Austria to attack Serbia. Friends which were, actually countries which were friends of Serbia, helped Serbia to fight Austria. So, technically, what you are saying is that now the world was divided into two. Countries that helped Austria, we call them the allied countries, and the other countries, the Axis, or we call them uh, sometimes the central power that were allied to Serbia, including Germany. Germany came and helped Serbia to fight uh, Austria, while France and other countries helped um, Austria. So that is what happened. While Germany was supporting Serbia, France, Britain, and other countries were helping Austria. So it broke out that way. It was a major war. Now, uh, the other thing that we should uh, be aware of is that the causes of the First World War and the causes of the First World War are, one, I'll just go through them quickly, militarism, and talk about military, we are talking about the soldiers. Countries started now putting their military together, training them and giving them weapons to make them ready for war. And here, many countries had increased their military. For example, the Great Britain and Germany had powerful navies. This helped them to push the countries involved in war. So those countries that had powerful military, it means that they were very powerful. Another factor is imperialism. Imperialism, that means looking at yourself as superior than the other, as powerful than the other. Now, powerful countries increased their wealth and power by bringing many empires to their control. Now, that means that a powerful country like Britain took another small country and brought it together to make friends with them. And that is imperialism, whereby now Britain looked at itself as a very powerful country. France, the same. USA the same. That is imperialism. Now, this competition led to the outbreak of war. So, number one, we looked at militarism, and now number two, imperialism. Number three, uh, we have nationalism. Nationalism. Countries encourage people to fight in order to defend their own countries. Now, when you are a nationalist, it means that you love your country. Whenever there is war, you are going to stand and defend your country. Good. So that is nationalism. Many people were ready that if Germany attacks us, now that was about now the Austrians. If Germany attacked them, they were ready to defend their own country. Uh, the last cause of First World War is alliances. An alliance is like a coalition Make, coming together with very many other friends to make a coalition, to make a one large group. So alliances, making friends with other countries. Over time, countries throughout Europe made mutual defense agreements. They agreed with their friends, with their partners. These agreements meant that if one country was attacked, what do you think would happen? Then 
the allied countries, all the other friends would come in to help. If, for example, Austria declared war on Serbia, it means that those countries that were allied to Austria had to come in and help Austria to fight Serbia. And that's what alliances are, are all about. Now, just to try and recap what we have looked at in our lesson today, we have looked at an important thing. We have looked at the First World War when it broke out. That is now between July 1914 to November 1918. We have also looked at the immediate cause. Next time, I'm going to ask you the immediate cause of the First World War. It has to be the assassination. Assassination means killing somebody because of politics, because of leadership. So the assassination or the killing of Franz Ferdinand. Franz Ferdinand was an archduke who was supposed to become a king in Austria-Hungary. Now, Austria blamed Serbia for the killing. What happened? This means that now these two countries started war. Friends for Austria, or friends allied to Austria, came in to help Austria, while friends, um, which are now the Axis or Central Powers, that were friends to Serbia, came in to help Serbia. Right? Now, in a nutshell, or in summary, we are saying this, that the First World War was caused by what we call Maine. You can memorize this um, mnemonic where M stands for militarism, A stands for alliances, I stands for imperialism, and N stands for nationalism. So those four are the major factors or causes of the First World War. Next time you are asked list four main causes of the first world war you have to remember the word main the word main m stands for militarism a stands for alliances coming together with many agreements and friends making agreements then we have imperialism countries looked at themselves as very superior and powerful then the last one we have nationalism so nationalism is where people who are ready to fight for their own country. They were ready not to let their country to go to the enemies. What did they have to do? They had to take weapons and help the government to fight their enemies. That is what nationalism is all about. So when you are a nationalist, it means that your ideas and your thinking is for the well-being of your country. So nationalists in Austria thought that if Serbia would attack, then they would quickly come in to help Serbia to defend uh, their country. That is all about our lesson today. Next time uh, we meet, we shall be looking at the Second World War, the causes and when it began. Thank you for watching. Have a nice time.